One of the most important things about taking a big show on tour is that you want to capture the original Broadway magic of the show. And long ago, when a show would open on Broadway, the great stars of the show would go on tour with the show. And that hasn't happened for many, many years. But Gavin Lee, who created the original role of Burt in the West End, and then created it on Broadway, is touring the show. And then Ashley Brown, who was our Mary Poppins originally on Broadway, is touring too. So Gavin and Ashley really anchor the show, both with all the experience they have from Broadway, but also their just extraordinary talent. We both have been playing the roles for two years on Broadway, and so it was fabulous when Disney and Cameron McIntosh offered us the tour to play the same roles and get to tour the whole of the country because um, it just brings something new for us. We feel so strongly about the story we're telling every night that it's really exciting to travel and get to share it with everybody and all the different audiences. It's going to be great to see how everybody reacts to it. It's a mammoth undertaking, but obviously a very exciting one. Uh, and it takes a sort of whole army of people to get to the point where we are right now in the rehearsal room. The cast and the creative team working with the cast and at the theatre, there's a whole army of people there who are working away on the show. You know, there are hundreds and hundreds of people involved in it. We have to construct a three-story house on stage every night. So it has to be portable. So the trick of Bob Crowley's design here is that we get the full house that you have on Broadway, but in a very different, very clever way. It's almost like a pop-up book. The house unit it travels in three pieces in a 53-foot tractor trailer. I think the biggest challenge with this show is that there are a lot of large pieces to get through relatively small doors. To create the Banks' house, we have several pieces of scenery. We have the main rolling house unit that gives us the interior and the exterior of the house. We have the kitchen. This whole kitchen is, is one series of effects because we have a little bit of a disaster in the kitchen and Mary Poppins gets to magically re, you know, restore everything. And we have the nursery and the nursery flies in and appears on stage after the house sort of disappears so we can have a, the upstairs version on the lower level so you can actually see what's happening. It's all completely automated. It has machinery inside of it that, that rolls it downstairs, that rotates it, that opens and closes the doors. One of the other features of Mary Poppins, of course, is flying. And the flying has to be created individually for each theatrical space. Because like this one, we mostly play in sweet old jewel box theaters that really weren't conceived for a production this big or for someone to actually be flying over the head of the audience. Backstage we have about 50 people running the show, but probably half of that is almost wardrobe, hair and makeup people. As compared to most musicals out on the road, this one is large. There are over 200 costumes. That doesn't count the parts and pieces that go with each costume. I have eight road boxes for all my wigs. I could be in by three in the afternoon for an eight o'clock show because we set everything the night before and we come in the next day and comb it out. So it's extremely fresh for every show like it was the first time it was ever done. That's where the show is. It's backstage. All this set, all the costumes, all the orchestra, all the actors, it's virtually exactly the same production, the same production values. And all the songs everybody knows and all the choreography, there's just something for everybody because it's Broadway coming yeah. to you.